Oh, this is going to be hilarious because I've right. got to try and keep a straight face and I go, no, I can't do it. <laughs> nice. You've had a longer relationship with Pete than I have. That's true, actually. That is true. More like a life sentence. David Lai, creative lead. Creatively? Creatively. Creatively. Generally, I'll look after any sort of output that comes out of Peak. So it can be anything from cover boxes to websites to video content. I mean, we do produce content in here. I do it myself, but we tend to try and do it for the small 30 second, minute long snippets. Something that would need a larger production. These are the guys we're calling. You coming on board and being able to produce video content in house mm -hmm. has meant that you've been able to send us footage of things that you've captured on the fly that otherwise we wouldn't have access to. So we've worked with Pete Scientific probably for like the last, I don't know, five or six years. Our first encounter was producing profile film content. Following that, we ended up doing some bits and bobs for specific products. So iFlow, we also did the Precision Series. Yes, yes. There was another one, there was the service one. Since then, you feel like your company itself evolved? Yeah, I think so. I think I think we've changed a lot. I think our approach has changed a lot. I think we've matured. Well, you know, some of us have matured. We've gained a lot more experience producing that sort of content now. We're a lot more confident to be able to come in and I suppose lay our cards on the table and say, that's what we believe is the best approach. Mm -hmm. We talked about doing the overhaul of the profile film and a recruitment cut as well. And it was those two main films that we, we cut this time. We organised internally quite a few of the shoots ourselves, but you also organised a lot of the shoots and it was good working as a, we felt like a larger video production team. It shows how friendly a company we are, how happy the staff is, um, in an actual way. And that's something you can't highlight by just putting bullet points up with the video. Yeah, from our perspective, that's something that we chase like a lot when it comes to the stuff that we produce, the authentic dialogue. It's really important to us that it doesn't just feel like we're plunking them down and just like, yeah. it's an interview. So the whole like, it's a great place to work thing, yeah. like they don't even need to say it. They do not need to say the words yeah. because frankly, like you can tell by how passionate they are about what they do. You have to find those little gems and it's trying not to get that perfect one line because it's the imperfections that make the things real. Just a, just a little bit. The ums and the airs. The ums and the airs, yeah, yeah. yeah. All that sort of stuff. You know, from our side, yeah, I think it has been beneficial to have somebody on board that that understands video, that knows video, that's come from a video background. You've acted very much as the bridge between us coming in, creative ideas, mm -hmm. and then your guys, technical. And normally I think that's a job that we undertake with clients that, that ultimately don't have a David. Yeah, it can be challenging at times, um, just to get the concepts across. The purpose of these films is for us to be able to show off the work that we do, i.e. the work that we do at Peak Scientific, but to give it context for us to be able to talk about the project so that we can explain the things that we did. The maps that Daniel designed and why Mexico is spelt like that correctly. That's Portuguese Brazilian for you. That is Portuguese Brazilian, exactly. We chose certain stock shots to reflect like the life sciences and yeah. the front-loaded two interviews that we did. I think all of that needed context, which ultimately is why we came and did this. Yeah. And on that note, it's Friday. Let's go home. <laughs> We've all had a wonderful time. Let's turn the lights out. Is that okay for you guys?